new tutorial video for you guys. By the title itself, we're going to cook a creamy, buttery, garlic mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are completely perfect for Thanksgiving, perfect to pair with red meat or chicken or anything else you would like to eat. That's why I'm so excited to teach you how to cook this delicious food. And by that, let me first show you the ingredients. Those are the only essential ingredients you need to make this simple dish. Now, let's proceed to the cooking proper. Before anything else, wear your apron and your hairnet to protect ourselves while cooking. Of course, do not forget to wash your hands from time to time, especially that we're in a pandemic. So let's start. Wash your potatoes first and start peeling its skin. Here, I am peeling 4 potatoes because I'll be cooking some for my family as well but it always depends on you. After peeling, place them on a bowl for a cold water bath so the potatoes won't turn brown. After, cut your potatoes by the way you like it but I like to follow this simple method. Cut the potato into half and cut each half twice just like this. Equal size cutting will help the potatoes cook faster and easier to mash. Wash the potatoes again and drain the water. After that, turn on your stove and place the pot with water. Gently put the potatoes on the pot. If you put too much water on the pot, just pour some of the water out to prevent it from overflowing. Let it cook and boil for approximately 30 to 50 minutes and check time to time if the potatoes are already soft. Take your time in waiting and be patient always. While the potatoes are cooking, let's prepare our minced garlic. To crush the garlic and to easily remove its skin, pound it using your fist and the safe part of the knife just like this. You can now remove the skins of the garlic cloves. To be safe, chop the garlics first into fine chunks and start mincing after. Always be careful with knives and watch your fingers when you mince. As you can see, I am mincing the garlic chunks as fast as I can while slowly pushing the garlic from my other hand. To avoid cutting your fingers, you can put your other hand on top of the knife while mincing the garlic. Once the garlic is finely minced, transfer it to a small plate and reserve for later. Try to check first if your potatoes are ready and soft enough to mash by poking it with a fork and if it is, drain the water from the pot. Be careful though, it's hot! At this point, you can immediately start mashing the potatoes on a bowl using a fork but in my case, I like to mash it on a sieve to get the soft texture I want my mashed potatoes to be. This method does take a lot of work and patience but it's definitely worth it. So if you want to mash the potatoes quickly, you can directly just mash it using a fork. The last pieces are in and I am mashing it like this. After that's done, scrape the potato from the back of the sieve. To finalize its texture, just keep on mashing until you are satisfied. You can also smoothen it out to check its texture. If you're satisfied, set aside the mashed potatoes. Time to make our creamy and buttery mixture. On a low high heat, place the saucepan and melt the butter. While the butter is melting, continuously stir so it won't burn. At this point, you can either put the minced garlic or the milk but I chose to pour the milk first. It's definitely up to you and just keep on stirring the mixture to incorporate the two liquids. Add the minced garlic and continue to stir so it won't burn. 
Once it is simmering, add your salt and pepper for taste and add a little bit of garlic powder to give a bit more kick of garlic flavor. One advice though, don't put too much garlic powder since the flavor of the powder is so strong but you can always add more seasonings because it is your business. Once it is simmering again, remove from heat and we can finally start making our mashed potatoes. Gradually add the mixture to your mashed potatoes. Start mixing until they're well incorporated. Don't pour the mixture all at once since the mashed potatoes will become too watery. For the second time, add the mixture and start mixing again. You can stop pouring the rest of the mixture if you're already satisfied with the creaminess and texture of your mashed potatoes. Since I have reached my desired texture of the mashed potatoes, let's start plating. It's up to you on how you'll plate your mashed potatoes but I like to place it on the center. Smoothen the mashed potatoes using a spoon or a rubber spatula. After, top it with any accompaniment that you like. Then, drizzle on top your store-bought or homemade gravy. In my case, I made my own gravy. After, you can top it all off with some chopped green onions. Finally, this is optional but you can sprinkle a little bit of oregano on top of your mashed potatoes. And that's basically it. You just had a delicious, creamy, and buttery garlic mashed potatoes. Since we are done cooking the creamy and buttery garlic mashed potatoes, I will be the one to judge and see what it tastes like. Honestly, I'm not a fan of mashed potatoes, but this changed my perspective. Adding a bit of garlic powder was a great idea. It gave the mashed potatoes a great kick and aftertaste of garlic flavor. I love how it is flavorful, creamy, and buttery. Overall, I recommend it and you should try it. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to cook a delicious, creamy, buttery garlic mashed potatoes, you can always follow this recipe. For more videos like this, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay safe always. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!